Let me build it up first. Oh no. Welcome. I hope you're well guys. I am excited today. I am way more excited than I should be on a Monday morning. I haven't had coffee. Please tell me I'm not the only person in the world that likes to have a coffee, even if you've left it and it's gone cold. I genuinely like that. It's kind of like a budget iced coffee, isn't it? <sighs> Shall we start? You might remember recently, I did a video, uh, eight desserts in one pan. Oh. Today, we've returned and we're gonna try and do four cheesecakes in one pan. This is quite topical because over the weekend I had a tweet basically saying to me, Barry, what is your favorite type of cheesecake? Do you like baked? Do you like no baked? I prefer a no baked cheesecake simply because they're a little bit easier to make, but you need to make sure you give them the proper setting time. That's what we're gonna do. This is a no baked cheesecake in four different flavors, completely different contrast. If we can nail this, this is how uh, it should look at the end. We'll put it right there. Full credit goes to Tasty Buzzfeed. I am just the plonker that's gonna try and make this work. Let's see if we can make it work. Let's do this. So this is what we're trying to do. Look at the colors, like a color wheel. The contrast looks insane for our Rocher's lemon raspberries, all that stuff going on, surrounded by a border, a wall of graham cracker. Now I can't really get them here very easily in the UK. You have to order these online and luckily I had some of these left over but if you can't get them and you really want to make this you can in the UK get digestive biscuits they're circular but with a little craft knife you could probably make it work um, in a bowl we're gonna get the graham crackers sugar and melted butter to form it to make our buttery biscuit but the recipe actually calls for 20 graham crackers right and I thought yeah that's loads but actually when you open one of these I think that is what a cracker is classed as because later in the steps it talks about snapping it in half like this so you get the squares for the borders so that's what I've gone with. And it basically means we've got a lot in there, way more than I thought we'd need, but it's gonna be a decent crust. Mm. Zippy zippy. Just bash the crumbs. Crumbs, there we go. Uh, so it doesn't matter if there's still some that are a little bit chunky, they'll all bond together anyway. Now the recipe does say to add sugar right now. I'm not doing that. It's got enough sugar in this, okay? <laughs> it doesn't need it. This is a no-bake base, butter and biscuit is fine. So, butter. Oh! <laughs> you see that I'm actually melting butter uh, in my saucepan today because uh, over the weekend, one of the kids put some foil in the microwave. Zzz. It broke. This is like our third microwave we need to replace. We're going to get a different model, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, something quite kinky about not using the microwave, using the pan. So, we're just going to mix the butter through and make sure that it coats every single crumb. And it kind of tans it. It tans the biscuits. It kind of goes a little bit more orangey, like it's had two weeks on the beach or something. And with that, you'll know that it will start to bond together. The butter works as one of the best glues in the world. And if, if you're not completely happy, you can find out once you put it in the tin like this. <laughs> if you add it and you're like, nah, 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 it's not working, you can still pour in melted butter. But by using the back of your spoon and compressing it down, we're gonna get ourselves a lovely base. Base, base. <laughs> The important thing though, is if you can, is to try and get it even. So by really flattening it down like that with something, you know, like a bottom of a rolling pin, it compresses it down, okay? It's really like, you really make sure there's no air gaps. All right, so here's where it gets interesting. We've got some more graham crackers there. Carefully break them in half so that you have eight squares. Push the graham crackers into the crust with the split basically making uh, an X shape to create four separate quarters for our cheesecake housing. Ah, oh, because I've compacted it. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have compacted it as much. I need to give it some support now, whoops. There we go, that's better. All right, so we have one kind of freestanding cracker in there. Oh no, this isn't looking good. For some reason, I, look, there's a bit, I'm using the same size tin that it says and like apparently you should have four easily that go along there. Ah, okay, okay. It's got to go like this. That might buy us enough room. 
Oh yes, that actually does fit. Awesome. Right, let me finish this off and we might put a little, oh, nah, nah, nah. yeah, I was gonna say put some more protection around the edges, but let me build it up first. Oh no. <laughs> little update, this is driving me insane, but I think I've got them lined up. We'll get some more butter biscuits things and you'll see. All right, so you can hopefully see I've got my wall formed there, uh, like some, I guess, little foundations for it just to dig into. Oops, but what I've got here is some newly melted butter with some more crumbs and I've just pressed it in there, you see? So if I do that this side, look, that is something you don't see every day. I've melted some more butter here. I just want to add a bit of strength, so I probably should be doing this concentrating, but I want to just add a bit of strength with the butter to the borders. Uh, in the freezer for 10 minutes. So this is four tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of powdered gelatin. We're gonna push this in like so. This is gonna give us the set. Now, if there's any Lord of the Rings fangs amongst us, we're actually blooming the gelatin, but you have my permission to call it Orlando blooming the gel No, you don't. So I'm just gonna use my little spoon just for it to dissolve. There we go. We'll just leave that, Orlando, uh, to do his thing. That's gonna help to really firm up our filling. All right, this is where it's gonna to start to get pretty crazy. We've got four different fillings to make out of one big base mix. Into this bowl, first of all, goes some cream cheese. This is uh, some caster sugar. Whisk that in. This is 700 mils of it, double heavy cream. So we're just gonna beat this until it's light and fluffy. It's getting there, you probably can't tell right now, but I'm feeling the consistency changing. I'm actually seeing it a little bit as it's thickening up, okay? So let's keep going. Bingo, see that? Oh, nice peaks. And I only made a little bit of a splatter mess. <laughs> All right, uh, so Orlando's uh, purpose right now is to be warmed up. Uh, in the microwave, ideally, so it becomes fluid, and then obviously it'll set again and really help to bond our filling. So we haven't got the microwave pan. Let's put that on a low heat. Donk. <laughs> it looks a little bit like a nut, doesn't it? Half a nut, anyway, from a, a giant purple one. The moisture is starting to form already. It's gonna break down and become a little bit of a fluid that we can pour in to our creamy mixture. This would be way easier in the microwave, but we're doing it Mrs. Beaton style, baby. All right, so, it's a little hot, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little hot there. Right, so we're gonna fold the gelatin into this whole mixture. We don't wanna completely overspill it, we just wanna try and get it all contact with that filling, I sort of bond it in there. And that should really help it set. All right, now four bowls. I don't really know how to calculate this, so I'm just gonna do a, a sort of scoop at a time. I'm actually pretty darn happy with that. Why am I doing that with my eyebrows? Sorry. Okay, one of those bowls should have, oh, that's better, uh, just extra whipping cream and vanilla extract going in. Now, in the ingredients, it says 720 mils, aka three cups of whipping cream, and in the method, that whole amount was used to make this filling. So I don't have any more left. So that can just be vanilla. Yeah, you can just be vanilla. So that's vanilla extract. I'm just gently stirring that through. Bowl number two. A oh, hundred grams of lemon curd. Love this stuff. You wanna see a recipe on homemade lemon curd? Maybe we should do that. Bowl number three. Oh, this is some uh, warmed caramel spread. I think they call it, yeah, what's it called? Dolce de leche. It's the good stuff. You'd be all right with a jar of caramel or something like that though. You need to save some of that for the end to garnish it, I believe. So we're just gonna spin this through. Oh, get it changing the color. Last but not least, oh, you might recognize this uh, spread <laughs> and it should also make a massive difference. This cream once stirred through. Yes. Oh my gosh, that was a workout. Nutella, baby. So Nutella, our caramel, the lemon curd, and the vanilla one. Let's do this. So this is the moment I'm like, oh, I've been building up to this. Will the walls collapse when we put it in? Oh my gosh, it's still in the freezer. 
<laughs> that is, <laughs> that's solid as a rock now. Oh my gosh. This is a spring loaded tin, by the way. Otherwise that probably wouldn't come out ever again. All right. The good thing is the tin is so cold uh, and the base that it will start cooling this mixture down almost immediately. Uh, might have a little bit left over by the looks of this. Lemon curd. <laughs> Caramel. And the Nutella. There we go, guys. Confidence is now good. Not high, just good. Because this ain't moving. That is not something you see every day, is it? But now comes the moment where we actually get to decorate this. For a moment there, I forgot which one was the lemon and the raspberry, but that one is the lemon. I had a little cheeky little taste. Any excuse. So this is some raspberry jam. This is the side that we just did the vanilla in. So a couple of dollops of this, and we're just gonna sort of swirl it into it. I feel like I want some stronger bits on the top. Yeah, like this. Get some raspberries and sit them around the edge. <laughs> I love that. Wow. Right, this next one uh, needed quite a lot of willpower just then. I just had to unwrap uh, some Ferrero Rochers. Many of you are asking me, Barry, you should do a giant Ferrero Rocher. They seem one in the shop the size of a potato. That has been done before. So exciting. And it was massive. <laughs> All right, fit on there? Yes. Come on. Oh no, I made it move. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay. No, we'll spread these out a bit more. That's better. Yes. <laughs> All right, yes, that is my microwave. Yes, it is working still. I <laughs> don't know what Mrs. Barry was on about. Um, I'm warming up some lemon curd. So warmed lemon curd. Tell you what, you guys know I'm not the most artistic person, but this is coming together like a dream. It's gonna sound really strange, but I wanna know what your favorite side would be. The lemon curd, despite this and this and this, would be my favorite. Now the supermarket I was in, it normally has candied lemon peel, but with it being Christmas, I think everyone's sort of stocking up with it. So they didn't have any, but I figured, hey, that's cool. We'll get some uh, citrus vibe going with some orange peel. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Last one. You can probably hear my now fixed microwave in the background, uh, just going away. It's just warming up the uh, caramel for us. Although I can smell a burning smell. We won't think about that right now. Uh, or maybe we will. Ha 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 ha. I think I burnt my Dolce de Leche stuff, Camel. Okay, so it's okay. It's okay. There we go. And we'll just sort of spread it in again. And there we have it. Oh my gosh. Check that out. I'm so happy with that. All right, guys. Come on, let's do this. That has been four, oh my god, trying to get up, four hours. It's had three hours in the freezer, one hour in the fridge. Um, so it should be firm. It might be an ice lolly. I have a fear, uh, now that I know the microwave does still work, the gelatin should have gone in there. It would have been much smoother. I think half of it is still in the pan, which I think I've ruined. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna really cling it. I don't know. Whilst that was all set and I uh, just put up the giant purple one video, literally just put it up now. Uh, I didn't get a chance to watch it. And I was watching it again. Oh. I'm not that bad, it's quite entertaining actually. And Linton has done an amazing job on the edit, so massive thank you. Uh, please show Linton your love in the comments down below. I think he's done an amazing job. Anyhow, let's get this out of the fridge. Come on, let's do this. Oh, it feels good, it does feel good. But what I'm saying is I'm gonna get this just onto a board and then put it back in the fridge for like 10 minutes or maybe in the freezer. Oh, come on, let's just do this. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know, you know. Come on. Boston, this is like tension. You're like scratching your bum, mate. Stop doing that, mate. This is pressure. <laughs> hey, we are on a roll at the moment. We've nailed it. We have, what the heck was that? Stop trying to be cool, you're not. Yes! Come on! <laughs> you're not sure which Whoa, one it was? That is... Over oh, the shoulder cam. Oh my god, oh my god! No, 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 don't you dare do that. <laughs> It'll be alright if I take the wall. Yeah, take the wall, take it. Oh. 
Yes. Oh, the lemon one was a good choice. Yeah. The crust is quite savory actually. What I now remember is because graham crackers taste different to digestive biscuits, that's why the sugar was needed. But hopefully you'll agree. Mm. There's quite a lot of sugar in this anyway. No one's even touched the Nutella one. I'm quite surprised. That, from our family particularly, mm. is a bit odd. Oh, I've got tennis tonight. It's mine. <laughs> I'm going to come back. Mrs. Barry's going to be like a Frere Rocher <laughs> Nutella cone. Like, ah. So, there we go. But we've, it's worked. Uh, massive yeah. thanks to Tasty. This recipe has worked an absolute charm. If you try it out, obviously tag them in it. It is their recipe. I just want to see if we can make it work. And it does. So, uh, give it a go. Any recipes from anyone you want me to try, uh, big chefs, websites, whatever, keep them coming because I love doing this playlist as much. <laughs> As hopefully you guys love uh, watching it and these guys like tasting it. See you next time. Goodbye. Take your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. The microwave still works. Are you sure? Yeah. I know you've come home for lunch just to have a nice chill. <laughs> you stick a camera in my face. <laughs> Thanks. The microwave works though, okay? Okay. Well, I'm not using it.